Hey y'all, it's Desiree here from I Can You Can Vegan and I'm back with another amazing recipe for you to try. Today we are making my white vegetable lasagna. Y'all, it is creamy, delicious, full of flavor, ain't nothing bland about this lasagna and it's picky as has been approved. So stay tuned so you can find out how to make it. So the first thing that we're going to do to make this white lasagna is to make our white sauce that goes with it and it's really simple. I took some uh, raw cashews that I had been soaking along with a bunch of seasonings, some almond milk. I'm adding all of these ingredients to my blender and I'm just going to blend it up until I get this nice, luscious, smooth sauce action. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That pour shot was everything. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to make our vegan ricotta. And you might notice that this process is a lot like the process that we use to make the cheese sauce, except this one involves using blanched, slivered almonds. I always say that wrong, but I'm glad I said it right this time. But anyway, we're using blanched, slivered almonds and we're going to make it until we get this like chunky thick pasty like consistency now it's time to start assembling our lasagna so I always like to put a little bit of sauce on the base just so that the noodles don't stick and when you're layering your lasagna sheets it's okay to have to like break up the little pieces you know just to kind of fit the nooks and crannies no one's going to know when the lasagna is all said and done here. So as you can see, I'm now just starting to layer everything here. Y'all, don't be like me and use these huge uh, spoonfuls of uh, ricotta there. You'll notice as I'm continuing to layer that I'm actually going to reduce the amount of ricotta because that was just a little too much. I was kind of doing the most there, but it's all okay. Either way, it's going to taste delicious. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. But as you can see here, I'm just going to continue layering until I have about three layers. Um, so I'm using my cheese sauce, the vegan ricotta, some mixed frozen vegetables, some frozen spinach, and some vegan parmesan cheese. It's really important to cover your lasagna when you're baking it so that, you know, the, uh, the steam that's created when everything is cooking together can help to actually cook your no-boil lasagna sheets that you're using. After you've cooked it for about 45 minutes to one hour in the oven, you can top it with a little bit of uh, fresh parsley, some uh, freshly grated Parmesan, vegan cheese, and then you're ready to slice it up and enjoy. Y'all, I know you are going to absolutely love this recipe. I ain't lying when I say his picky ass has been approved. He actually is a really, really big fan of this recipe, which was a little bit of a surprise to me, but that's just a testament to how good it is, y'all. So go ahead and make this recipe and let me know how it goes.